your New Year's resolution will fail. Now, if we're honest, myself included, we tend to overpromise yet under deliver. Now, the issue with under delivering is we end up getting into discouragement, right? And discouragement piling on turns into failure, right? We feel like we're failures. Now, my encouragement to you, however, comes from an interview that I just had on Twitch, which if you're not already following us, make sure you're following us there. But we were speaking with Aram and in our conversation and with the New Year's coming up, it got me thinking many of us are going to maybe talk about working out, starting a podcast, whatever the case may be. And my encouragement to you is to not make excuses, but instead use what you've got. Uh, we've been doing it. And uh, Aram, I appreciate you, bro, because you have shown love uh, from the jump. And then what I really appreciate, too, is artists who either pop in every so often um, or, you know, they, they, you know, chop it up on the social media platforms or whatever. So I appreciate your heart to have uh, a willingness uh, and a, a desire to uh, build authentic relationships, bro. Oh, for sure, man. No, I appreciate you guys, man. I love what you guys are doing. And uh, like as as I, as I mentioned earlier, even before we started, I, I was able to connect with a, a bunch of folks from the last time we streamed on here and uh, remain connected. And so, man, that's that's dope, man. That's really what it's all about, man. Is making life relationships and connections. And so, bro. I appreciate for the platform, man. Yeah, man, absolutely. It warms my heart. Uh, it warms my heart to know that you, you've you had those connections and people stay connected. Because listen, guys, if you haven't already, make sure you guys are following him on all social media platforms. Like, the man actually cares. I know, I know it sounds weird, but like, we can't just assume that just because somebody either does something as a Christian or whatever, uh, that they're tapped in like that to their audience. But I would definitely say uh, Aram, you are, bro. So for those of you guys who are brand new here and have not ever heard of Aram, bro, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, man. Yeah, man. So uh, um, here based out of Philadelphia, uh, husband, and I have four children. I have my fourth that was actually uh, born earlier this year in August. I have a nine-year-old, uh, my oldest daughter, Soriani, and then I have a four-year-old uh, son, Azariah. And we have a two-year-old daughter, Jazz and I, and then our fourth son, uh, uh, his name is Zion, and he's, he just turned four months uh, yesterday. So, hey. um, yeah, so, man, uh, I work as a uh, project director here in, uh, in Philadelphia. It's an organization called Esperanza. We work with uh, churches, helping build their capacity, whether it's uh, enhancing their uh, ministry, supporting their youth ministry leaders, uh, providing grant opportunities, uh, creating resources just to help uh, with, uh, you know, just the ministry aspect. We understand, at least from the urban context here in Philadelphia, there's a lot of pastors and youth leaders that are bivocational um, and uh, financially are in, a, in, in tight places uh, to be able to uh, just do what they sense they've been called to do in ministry. And so we just want to create resources and provide resources so that they could do that um, uh, successfully uh, even more so. And then, um, I'm um, an adjunct professor. Uh, I teach uh, INST 150 Faith, Reason, and Justice and uh, Bible, wow. uh, Bible um, at Esperanza College. Um, and overall, I just want to see uh, the kingdom advance. So whatever I can do to be a part of that, whether it's, you know, um, helping with uh, with conferences or um, just, just wanting to mentor uh, young people in our city. I just want to be a part of what God is doing. And so, yeah, man, man. Uh, it's a little bit about myself. That's dope. Man of many hats, for yeah. sure. Bro, and you already almost have a starting lineup uh, for a yes. team. So uh, shout out to y'all. So, okay, I'm sure people ask, so I got to ask too. Are we are we trying to round it out to, to a five, to a top five? No, we're done, man. We're okay. done with me. I can I can play center. So uh, if anything, you know, I have a starting five with me. Uh, we, we But we're done. We're done. The, the, the factory is officially closed. So uh, okay. that's, that's it. Hey, hey, that's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> he said, nah, I'll, I'll be the fifth one. Just put me a player, that's player, right. coach, coach, that's player, right. right? That's right. <laughs> that's what's up, bro. Um, yo, what up? I am Joseph Muniz is in the chat as well. Untitled, bro. Thank you for that subscription. Philly J, thank you for that follow. Man, so, okay, so you you are definitely involved with your community. Um, and you're not involved with the community in the sense of, um, I play shows only, um, and, and that is where my only show or where my only showing of 
the love for my community is. You are like, yo, rather I have a show or not, I've got to get my hands in uh, and really impacting these lives. Tell me, what is the importance to you, bro, of being not only an artist, but like intentionally the hands and feet in your community, bro? Yeah, man. So honestly, uh, music is kind of, if, if I can just like even just rank it on a totem pole, like it's probably like fourth, fifth or something like that. Like it's, it's and, and it really just derives from uh, one is making myself available, right? So I think about one of the words that I've been sharing a lot this year, uh, whether it has been at preaching engagements or just uh, opportunities to speak is this, uh, the, the idea or, or the thought when, when the young man was asked uh, to give what he had, the young boy who had the five, um, uh, 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 loaves of bread and three fish. Yeah. And this was when Jesus uh, was is on the mount and he noticed that the people were hungry and the disciples pretty much canvassed the, the mountain to see who had what. And this young boy who probably just walked around was fascinated with what Jesus was, hear, was saying and he had his lunch, mm. heard that Jesus needed it and he just gave what he had. And, um, yeah. and, that, and, and I, I sat with that word all year. I shared it all year. And it reminds me that our vocation, our calling is not literally arriving at a destination or having a title or, you know, just doing one particular thing. I think about the young boy that vocation is doing uh, is, is being is using what you have where you are. And um, and so when I think about just doing music, I think about um, it's a it's a gift that I have. I may I'm able to resonate with some folks. Uh, through it and just utilizing that platform to hopefully, you know, spark inspiration and hope into someone that might not be interested in, you know, hearing it at a church context or going to uh, a service. Right. So, um, so yeah, for me, it's it always derived from just, you know, wanting to be accessible and, and made available to God. And um, yeah, man, from the very beginning, when I first became a new convert at 17 years old, my desire was always uh, to be available to what Jesus had for me to do. I was, you know, really giving my life away and, and losing my life with the things that I would, I was doing as a young person. Um, and so when I had the opportunity to uh, just say yes to Jesus, I said, hey, whatever it is that you want of me to do, I'm willing to do that. And so um, to be available in the community is su super important to me. Um, I've been a, a product of mentoring. And so I want to be uh, accessible to others that might need mentoring. And so yeah, whatever it might be. So whether it shows or not shows, I just want to be available to make an impact with my neighbors, my home, um, and anyone I come in contact with. Man, use what you got. Use what you got and be present. That's what I took from that, bro. That's, man, and you know, that's, I, I love the fact that you were, um, that you had stated that because so many of us, okay, I put myself included, where we'll kind of think, um, man, well, I don't have this. I don't have that. Like, we are very obvious of our own shortcomings right um mm. and what ends up happening is then we especially as a as a believer we end up voiding everything god has ever given us has ever uh, uh, allowed us to go through rather it's experience or whatever the case may be we mm. void that out when we say man yeah but i can't you know if i had this then i could and then i could do that but since i don't have this and it's like man that, that's not if that's the posture of your heart even if you do get whatever it is before you do something, you're still not going to because eventually something you're going to run into another thing where you're like, mm -hmm. oh, man, well, I guess I got to sit and wait. Yeah. And I love that you were just talking about not that that's not the case for you, bro. No, that's a beautiful word, man. I appreciate you sharing that. That reminded me of something uh, very early on in my walk where um, where a pastor friend just shared to me. It was just it, it just reminded me of what Jesus shared about um, being faithful with the little that we can be entrusted with more. And so to me, I mean, it's always been of just making the most with what we had. Um, you man, I remember, um, you know, having a group of young guys that would come over to each other's homes. We really try to live out what Acts um, chapter two, verse, uh, I believe it was 57 or so, where we would meet in each other's home. We would break bread. We would pray for one another. And it was a group of young guys that just wanted to hold each other accountable. And I remember mm. we just made the most of what we had. Um, sometimes we just brought to the, the gathering some money that we had that was just enough for a box of pizza. Um, and it was sufficient, yeah. you know, so it was kind of like literally you make the most of what you have and God wouldn't, you know, would entrust even more, uh, if we're faithful with a little. And so, um, uh, appreciate you reminding me of that. Yeah, man. 